What's going on, what's going on? This is Prime Life and we are back. Of course, the name is Leon Kai and couldn't join us today is a beautiful Najma McKenna. Sadly. Who is not her. I'm used to Najma sitting on this side, so. Oh, well, go get her. Ah! Already. <laughs> <laughs> Already. And I am Jim Aiko, your host and your homie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So right now, I would like us to go straight to Minneapolis, yeah. where there are riots, and these riots are quickly spreading over the whole of the United States because of the death of George Floyd, mm -hmm. where he was killed by Derek Chauvin, who is the police officer who is now being charged by with third degree murder. Which is so sad because this guy is actually a trained police officer, mm -hmm. and you are trained to actually like pin someone down, but he did all this intentionally. Because um, he actually pinned this guy down for, and he was kneeling on his neck for more than, for like nine minutes. Imagine. Yeah, but then, even if they're supposed to pin someone down, the guy was unarmed. And, um, he wasn't resisting arrest. Yeah. He was already arrested and cuffs on him already. Mm -hmm. So this guy, Derek Chauvin, the officer, he's been an officer for 19 years. They're calling him a veteran. And he has like flaws. 12 infractions actually throughout his whole, whole career. But on the brighter side... I think it's just good that finally justice is coming through, even if it's coming through in such a bad way. It's coming through. In, apparently, the, as for me, I feel like all these protests are a very good thing because we've been talking about Black Lives Matter for forever. And yeah. right now, people are standing out and they're like, we are not doing this. Like, this is not, this is not going to happen again. This cannot go on. And I feel like... Guys that actually can raise the numbers of people going out should speak out. That is like celebrities over there because they have the ability to make people go out. I think yeah. they should speak about this matter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I think. Well, I feel it's a more complex situation than that. Mm -hmm. Because you see, even if the riots are a good thing in some point where guys are speaking out, the government or the arm of the government that's the police that's in charge of the police officers in yeah. Minneapolis are actually beginning to frame black people. Yes. And there was one there was one police officer who was actually undercover and was caught on camera trying to like he was actually setting some, some bays on fire. And yeah. this same base was actually apparently like a few like hours later yeah. was apparently set ablaze by mm -hmm. blacks. How could that even happen in this case, or the same people who are undercover trying to set up blacks? Like, it's, it's unfair. We're That's, protesting, but still, they're still, like, tricking us. The same police officers who are supposed to actually protect guys, do you know, like, more than dozens of them were at this guy's house, the mm. cop's house. Yeah. They were all there protecting the cops from, like, the riots and everything, because people were out for blood and everything. Mm. But then... Even when the riots were going on, they didn't quite get the message that was being passed out because a few minutes later, they then went on to arrest a CNN reporter yeah. who was black. Yeah. So guys are actually basing it on. And it was literally color. like on the on the right on the right on the right um that that puts some what are they called restrictions the on barriers. Where the barriers exactly. Yeah. And he was behind the barrier. The barrier, and he was still arrested. But then even in the video of him being arrested, he also showed his badge out and everything. But then later on, because everything was caught on camera, he was released an hour later. But people still go on and say that they feel that even though he was released an hour later, it would have gone so differently if there wasn't any footage. It would have. And this, this actually, I think this whole story of George Floyd only became this big because it was on footage. Yeah. Otherwise... But then there's so like many, there's so many deaths that have yeah. happened that haven't been captured on camera. But one thing I'd have to say on this story is that white supremacy is just lying on like thin ice. Mm -hmm. It's floating on thin ice. That's mm -hmm. all I can say. Because blacks are coming at a very, very, very fast pace. What were my jamba? What were my kathirika si jokes? Now what we, you know people are talking about that only in Minneapolis. No, no, Joku Kenya Pia, that's the same thing that happens. Uh -huh. But this year we are going Guys don't go to the streets. Yeah, what? Guys go to the streets for huh. days. We're in the same country where a guy says a kipata mawe in a kazi. He feels bad. But I it. don't feel like people actually like take 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 keen interest in this deaths that happen. Mm -hmm. But then you see, 
it's but they're mad as <laughs> yeah they are deaths and they are murders but you see it's not it's not all about the interest it's mm-hmm. about it's happening mm. it shouldn't happen it shouldn't all. it shouldn't in the sense that for example in here in Kenya yeah, uh, our police are supposed to protect us if we were in the same position as things are going down in the states in Minneapolis, yeah. If we're in that same same position, then already the police are not doing their job, mm. right? Because even there are videos circulating of like white uh, ladies. There's this white lady who had a dog on. Mm. She almost yeah. killed her dog yeah. just to frame yeah. an African American. Yeah. That for me personally, it was so sad because she was literally making it back for no reason and she's 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 like um trying to make her tears sound as if there's something violent going on and there's nothing and then this guy this guy was do you know the whole story this guy just literally told the lady to put the dog on the leash like the dog was roaming you get yeah so he told the lady could you put your dog on the leash then this white lady actually decided to pull that drama and everything once. But that's bullshit. One thing I can say and I keep on saying is white supremacy is just floating on thin ice. But how is it white supremacy generally? I would feel, for me personally, as a personal opinion, I feel like we as black people are very intelligent people, so powerful, but then we kind of lean back when things are going on, you know? We kind of attribute it to the see no evil, do no evil, hear no evil kind of thing. The way guys are speaking out in Minneapolis, that's good. Guys, uh, many people mm-hmm. should come out in numbers and speak out. Because we are here, guys are allowed to vote in the states now because someone spoke out. Mm-hmm. You know? In Kenya, we have our freedom because someone decided to do something about it. So I feel like many of us should continue doing things that will help us as a nation as a global fraternity hopefully yeah. we'll get to that point because i think in africa that was is a time that in Etonga after colon what is what Zatene, is that that in <laughs> right now people are like hey that happened kila punch kila simu yake kama maenda john akitu you get yeah. which is support, which is very wrong very very wrong mm-hmm. yeah but then uh, as we are right now change is coming but we shouldn't allow the balance to tip you get because if we focus so much on making the other party the enemy then we're just turning racism on its head yeah. instead of racism being whites against blacks it will now be blacks against, against whites mm. so this shouldn't happen we should all remember the fact that not all whites are racist mm. you true, get true. There, there, there are like so many whites in this in this protest happening. Yeah. There's so many whites. Actually, a greater percentage to say so would be whites. whites. But then right now, I would like us to play a game. Are you ready? Am I not? Um, <laughs> what does that even mean? Am I not? Like, um, I am. I am and. very ready because this was a song. Alright, so trending yeah. song right now by Saudi Soul. Insecure! Yes, yes! So, basically, what we're going to do. Is well, right after we come, uh, when we come back from the break, which mm-hmm. we're gonna go to in a few minutes, mm-hmm. we're gonna talk about insecurities. insecurities. And we're gonna play a game where we'll count one to seven. First one gets to seven, has to share their insecurities. Sounds interesting. <laughs> Since you're not interesting. What? I'm a very interesting person myself. No, that was a joke. That was a joke, Leo. <laughs> yeah. So, no, no you want me to pull up shots right now? Uh, all right, all right, please, all right. not now. Mm-hmm. But later. Yeah. No, no, never. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we're going to a break and we're going to come with seven insecurities that Jean will tell us because there's no way I'm Seven? I thought it was one. <laughs> anyway, Jean will tell us our insecurities because there's no way I'm losing this game. See you guys. Leon will also. I will not lose this game. Thank you so much. Are you looking for a serene environment where tranquility meets lifestyle? Malaika Village is the place. Located strategically in Kitengela, Acacia, 40 minutes drive from Nairobi CBD and 10 minutes drive from Kitengela Town. The amenities are kids playing ground, kindergarten, shopping mall, gym and spa, swimming pool and many more. 
The price for a three-bedroom bungalow is 6.5 million Kenya shillings. Both ready and off-plan houses are available. You can pay by cash, mortgage, or installments by paying a deposit of 30% of the agreed price. For more information, visit our website at www.onekim.co.ke. Wagonjin. Wagonjin. Yes, yeah, so we're back. <laughs> Are you conversant with the uh, 21 days? Uh, no, because I'm sure they're also not conversant. So let's just explain. Alright, so today we're going to... I can't take an L. You're going to take many L's. No one, many. Explain, explain. Jin, you have nice hair. <laughs> so... <laughs> Thank you. Dion, you braided your hair. Yo, man, I'm perfect. Oh, wow. So... <laughs> uh-huh. so, 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 <laughs> anyway, so if you're not conversant with uh, 21 days, what we're going to do is we're going to play a game where each of us counts to seven. The first one who gets to seven will expose their insecurities. Mm. Of course, Jane is the one who's losing this game. I hope not. Ah, you're losing this game. Let's see how it goes. Alright, so begin, count. One, two, three. Four, five, six. Look at that. Look at that magic. What magic. did I just give myself? <laughs> <laughs> Look at that magic. So, Jin, here we are. Mm. Welcome, Jin. To the hot seat. Yes. Okay. So, first of all, you know what insecurities are? Yes. Yeah. So many people have them. Rona is one of the people who has just exposed hers, and yeah. people are being encouraged to speak out about their insecurities. Mm-hmm. So, floor is yours. Floor is mine. Uh-huh. I'd say it was my insecurity, but I learned how to to like live with it. Okay. That's me being big, having big boobs and having like a big band. Just being big. <sighs> Generally, you get. I'm trying. I'm trying to contain imaginations right now. But <laughs> Keep them to yourself. Anyway, yeah, yeah. See, I'm done. Oh! No, not sure. Not sure. <laughs> no, not sure. We need. We need. We need to go a little bit deeper into. Oh well, so. I guess I feel like um big people. Mm-hmm. That later on to the end of the production mm-hmm. network think some of us are just big mm-hmm. anyways like um you get you get like a lot of negative negative um negative things outside like yeah. mostly comments you bust them to a combia what's this kikui word they keep on using no shiba pana <laughs> that kikui to you it's Yo, this man, song. i'm not i'm not i'm not There's this i don't belong to any tribe say. specifically Hey, uh-huh. thank you, uh-huh. Momo. <laughs> Imagine passing by like ten men and then they're like, "Do you, Momo? We only say example. Like, do you think that's that's nice?" Okay, first and foremost, it's not nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but then also, if personally I was actually fat. It's hard to imagine that I hit the gym, but I was fat. Mm-hmm. You get. So during that time, I was, during that time when I was Momo, that size. <laughs> The key seemed like going yeah. to the gym. Mm-hmm. So wouldn't you wouldn't you say that your insecurity is your choice? Wouldn't you say that you you can easily cure your insecurity by just going to the gym? But that's why it's an insecurity. You can't just go to the gym. I I I hit the gym, but it's mm-hmm. an insecurity. Mm-hmm. You get. Yeah. But before I even say that, I say that I learned how to live with it. Yeah. So it doesn't bother me. I'm big, bro. Big thighs. Oh, no, it's not big size. It's six times same size. <laughs> TTSL. You yeah. had it here first. Mm. Big thighs. Now nah, I know. Big, big thighs. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, that's an yeah. insecurity I've learned to live with. And Rono having to stand up and talk about it was mm-hmm. very, very awesome. Like, it was a very powerful move because people have been talking about her for, for days, bro. She wow. has big feet, she has big watch. She has... Leave that shore alone, man. I man, don't tell me to leave her alone, though. I, mean, I haven't even started yet. Where are you going to go? I want to watch her, I want to wear. You can go for everything. <laughs> yes, 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 I do go for everything restaurant-wise. <laughs> I, I like to browse through the menu. <laughs> it's some pork chops today, tomorrow it's um, school, man, you know. But you go for everything. Do I? You do. But of course you would know. Anyway. <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> but 
they say whatever I've done to you, I'm sorry. Aye, I'm aye, sorry. Aye. So you just like hit me up with one of your insecurities. So you'll be even. So you're so, a gent. Uh, am I? I don't know. Before the last week, but what you were calling me? Yeah, I'm a gentleman. I Leon. You have been operating this week yeah, from misogynist to gent. Anyway. So let's count down again. Mm-hmm. Nice. You mm-hmm. want to start again? Mm. One, two. Oh, shh. <laughs> Three, four. Five, six, seven. <laughs> if my math teacher would see me now. So, an insecurity of mine. Would I say I'm too handsome? Sometimes I feel, I feel like, you know, I'm a target. You know? This am, is I, am I, am I, am I listening to this? <laughs> You're too what? Uh, I'm too handsome. Thanks, so, thanks. So like... Hold it there. <laughs> Ginny know all about this. Anyway, so I'm a target. Okay, let me let me get let me get down to mm-hmm. a real insecurity of mine. Mm-hmm. Sometimes, <sighs> sometimes, yeah. Sometimes I feel like I would be passed up, yeah, by from a real relationship with a shory because of my f boy looks. F boy, my f boy. Oh, fuck boy looks. Yeah. Just yeah. So, so you think you look like a fuck? Okay, what? I shouldn't be talking like that. <laughs> You're talking about your insecurities. I should be very, very this, <laughs> lenient on you right now. Let me tell you. This is actually how it started. Is it was zero zero zeros with one shorty, mm-hmm. and she was like, Ah, no, I can't take you seriously. You might have like you know, shorties blowing up your phone. No, shorties are blowing up my phone. Like for real. So okay. I'm sorry though. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. How does it feel? Honestly, I'm proud. <laughs> I'm are proud you? Of, yeah. I don't think you are. I'm not proud of you. Why? Why don't you think so? Because it's, it's your insecurity. Then now she's about to go into our bedroom talks. Proceed. Wow. <laughs> cold, cold. Anyways, I feel like Sauti Soul have have like um. After the release of the song, yeah. of course, Insecure, mm-hmm. they've, they've made so many people come out strongly yeah. and say, this is my insecurity, this yeah. is my insecurity. And I hope people will embrace people's insecurities and learn how to live with them. Although, kuna vinyanga rikazingine, but those in our insecurities. When it comes to insecurities, eh, you know, it's only you yourself who can actually appreciate them. Yeah. Because insecurities come in so many different mm-hmm. forms. You can find something like, someone is insecure, with themselves because of someone else. Mm. You get mm. just the same way that those men were like he ni size yango. He ni size yango. <laughs> just also other dudes yeah. would be like, hmm, I probably like hanging out with this other one more than this one because I feel she looks this way. Mm-hmm. And just because of that, you want to do things to improve yourself. Mm-hmm. And rather I feel guys should actually just learn to be proud of it. Um. I think they should. But as for short days, mm-hmm. I feel like um you should just learn to like brace how you look and brace yourself because there are tough times ahead. Trust yes, me. Anyway. One thing is Utotoka Indian definitely there'll be that illiterate person who definitely shout go into and one thing I, I, I really I keep on saying is um I feel like African women to be precise have been bred to like have this competition amongst themselves of who looks better just to please the men and this is where i think most of our insecurities came in and that is how that is why at a point just everywhere people want to look i want to look like this one or i want to look better than this one which is very wrong but you know it's not only women let me tell you it's women who are vocal about it Mm -hmm. but on the men's side insecurities are real Hmm. Some people, for real, you'll actually so find... So you feel like someone else, I wanted to mention someone here, but looks better than you. <laughs> Yo. Yo, have you seen me yet? Have you You're seen... literally me. Look, look, look at this, eh? No, beside me. People don't see me, they experience me. Oh, wow. Yeah. Anyway, I'm saying, insecurities actually, men actually go through insecurities a whole lot. The same way ladies spend time in the mirror is the same way that men also spend time in their proverbial mirror in Mm -hmm. their minds Mm -hmm. or even the physical mirror. Some guys might be carrying pinky toes, if you know what I mean. (laughs) And that's that's a genuine insecurity, you get. 
Yeah. Other guys might have might be having big feet or like really small feet. Guys are insecure about height. Like I remember when I was in high school, there used to be this crew of guys, yeah. These guys were the shortest mm -hmm. people in the school. Yeah. There were four guys. The shortest I've never seen guys this short. So everyone they to chill together. They didn't know like even, shortest. No, yeah, yeah, man. You just find them in a in a squad. Just and then they I don't know what they used to call themselves. But these guys literally formed a gang because they were insecure of their shortness, you get? Mm -hmm. And I feel that people should embrace something like that. Yeah, so they emulate what these guys did. Mm. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, you can't, you can't really, you can't do anything about height generally. Yeah. Unless you go the messy route where he increased his height, a rumor where he increased his height, or if you have issues with your hair, you go the Rooney way and you plant some <laughs> hair. <laughs> But anyways, yeah, anyways, yeah. I feel mm -hmm. like what other part to embrace their insecurities? Actually, and when someone is embraces their insecurities, I feel like you should actually support them. Let me tell you something, yeah? It's so hard to support, like this group of short people. It's so hard to support them because together they caused so much chaos. It was, it was, I don't even know, it was kind of like, they want <laughs> to be hard, you know? Uh -huh. Guys, we see you, mm -hmm. we see you already, yeah. but then you want... You're not too short. <laughs> yeah, but then all about even the shortness thing, it even affects the guys personally like me. Now let me share real insecurity. Mm. So that was a fake one. Okay, the, also the other. Mm. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> let me share real insecurity. <laughs> so this day I popped up to like uh, a, a, a social place mm -hmm. with a close friend of mine. And we were really close with this show and everything. So I'm just there, you know, we, we, we are having fun. We are, we are having some drinks and everything is going well. Mm. And this guy, I don't know, he was built by what just shows up. This guy is six foot tall. I'm just looking at him like this. And he has like those deep voices. Yeah. So it's just right next to the show, like, yo, what's up? I'm like, yo, tafadali. Maze Nikoaba. The guy can't even see me. So I guess this chaotic group. Uh, the short guys, I understand them a little bit more. You should. <laughs> but I feel like that happens to like almost all guys. If you just know you're not wealthy and you're taking six girls to be like, Una jaribu, na unataka kuambia venu, sisonge hapa. So the first, a man who takes six people, six ladies, to the club by himself, that guy has no insecurities. You think? Yeah. You think? Yeah. Okay. Or maybe he's overcompensating. Mm. But you know also guys do that a lot. I had like really huge guys drive really small cars to compensate. Which is true. Really ugly guys have... Continue, proceed. Um, I, I want to know about these ugly guys. Yeah, but just, just go on, go on. Me, I'm not even imagining some surgery. I'm not even going to date with some ah, guys. Since, like, since we are throwing shots, also ladies with really short hair, Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Way sour, sour. But anyways, I feel like uh, Sotis will have done such a good a good thing mm -hmm. to help us let out our insecurities and they're going international yeah. for sure for days. Actually we are international. I, I, I think they were only to sell as virtual concert or something. Really? Uh, yeah, that actually that already happened. Mm, nice, nice. And I feel like this guys this mm -hmm. guys are just like the future, the African future. But then let's take this a little bit more seriously. Mm -hmm. Because it is true insecurities send people to depression. Yeah. It is true that there are people out there who can't cope with these insecurities. Mm -hmm. I being one of them, at some point I couldn't cope with my own insecurities that I am too secure to share. Look at that, I'm so ironic. I'm kicking it today. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, just as you shared your insecurity of being too yeah. big, and you dealt with it properly. Mm. I feel that everyone should find their own way of to dealing with the insecurity, insecurity. Yeah. and living with it because that's what I feel like that's what's actually leading to depression and guys killing themselves. I mean, but you know, right now, everywhere on Instagram is just hashtag mental health. Why? People? But you know, actually, disease can be an insecurity also. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In the sense that, for example, right now, what's happening in the world, COVID 19 is striking people, eh? For sure. If I had it right now, I wouldn't be so confident in sharing it because I would feel like people would push me away mm -hmm. because of that. Yeah. So that then turns into my new insecurity, mm -hmm. 
and war. But just as you said, the way you deal with it is 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 what matters. Yeah. Yeah. Not shove it back. You let the you let the whole big thing come out. Yeah, you just the whole big. Big. <laughs> it matters a new person as a new being. Anyways, guys, that's all we had. No, wait, before, yeah. before we go, though, I want to say you look awesome today. Thank you. Yeah, you're killing me, Don't you try to do what you wanted to do. I've been shot down right before when I took off, so... I knew. <laughs> I can see your moves. Well, that's all we had. See you in the next episode. On Instagram, it's at Onit Media. On Facebook, at Onit Media. And on YouTube, on Onit Media. Make sure to subscribe and click the tiny button to get notifications every time we post up. On and my social handles, of course, on Instagram at underscore Jean underscore Igo. Where? Leon Kai on Instagram. Christian Boy in real life. Oh, <laughs> hold up. <laughs> Onit Media for days, bruh. Have a good night and a splendid morning tomorrow.